Hi guys, Colsey, and today we're taking a look at Meld. What is Meld, you may ask? Well, Meld, Meld is sort of an alternative to sort of OBS. That's the best way to put it. It is a streaming slash recording software that you can use to stream slash record. I'm recording this entire video in Meld just to further use it. Just to really like get a get a good grip of it and mean that I can play around with some things uh, and mess around with it a little bit more than I have already. I've only had a brief look at it so that I could give you a little bit more information rather than knowing absolutely nothing. But I know very little, so we're going to go through it together. But welcome to Meld. Thank you to Meld for offering me a, a beta code to check it out. Very similar to the way OBS works. You make your little scene, whether you're doing a stream or a recording. I'm doing a recording, hence why I have the, the scene set up like this. Uh, we have our different audio ins here. So I have one for Discord, one for my microphone, which I'm using, and then one for my desktop audio, which would be my game. Now, I'm not doing any gaming and there is no Discord, but that's how those would work. You can see on my mic, I have a couple of effects, which we will get to because I'm trying those out. We'll try and go through this as best we can. Uh, and maybe towards the end, I might give some opinions of a few things that I would like to see changes or additions to Meld. It is still developing, so there's a lot that can be added. But I have a couple of suggestions of my own, which I would like to put forward. If if Meld would like to take those on board, I'd be very much appreciative. First off, if we go to preferences in the in the file menu, this is uh, all your settings for your output and your your canvas settings and all that stuff. So here we have uh, I've set the canvas to 4K. Uh, the output is the same as the canvas. So the canvas is 4K. When I record, it will be in 4K. Frame rate 60, video bit rate, audio bit rate, uh, where it's recording, format it records in, video bit rate, audio bit rate for recording, same as that one. I'm using this to record, so I have set this at 4K so that I can have two different windows and they're recorded in a good quality, right? That's how I record using OBS. I normally have the canvas stretched so that I can fit two different things and then I can edit them in an edit. That's how I work. But if you were using this to stream, you probably want to go to 1080p or 1440. You probably don't want to do 4K. And your video bit rate, again, you want to put that at what video bit rate you can do slash the platform you're streaming to can take. But being as I'm recording, uh, I've put it a little bit higher. So uh, then we have plugins and advanced. Haven't messed around with those. Audio, the output device is, again, just goes to my headphones. Smart guides, snapping line color, that's for moving things. Transitions, this is where you can change your transitions. You've got to move, a cut, a morph, a fade, and then all of these curves, which uh, I'm going to be honest, don't make a lot of sense to me, but I'm sure if you fiddle around with them, they'll make more sense. Uh, and then the layer rendering mode, again, doesn't really make much sense. Hotkeys again, we got start streaming, stop streaming, toggle, start recording, all that good stuff. Again, very useful to have these hotkeys if you're if you're using this to stream and you want to change scene and stuff like that. Hotkeys, again, super useful. Those were the initial settings. Then you have up here, you have your layers, which is the different items. So I have two. I have one, which is my desktop that you're looking at. And then I have one, which is my camera. So that's video devices, the camera, display capture. And then we have scenes. Now, when you change scenes, it does use the, so it uses the transition uh, that you've picked, I believe. I believe that's how that works. So if we go like this, you can see it has that sort of fade in there. So let's go and change that in the preferences just quickly. So transitions, let's do a morph. I don't know what a morph is, but let's do it. But there we go. That's uh, some built-in just transition effects. Very nice. Okay, so this is where you have your scenes, which you would change between. So if you had a gameplay scene and a face cam scene, a chat scene, a be right back scene, that's where you'd put all those. Again, very similar to the way OBS works. Uh, and then in your layers is where you put all your different stuff. So you can have your browser tab and your images and text and all that stuff. Video device, which is like the camera I'm using, display capture, display capture, media source. Very similar to the, the kind of things you have uh, on OBS. I have noticed I look very dark, like the blacks look very dark on my camera, but I don't know whether that's just me looking at it in my monitor as opposed to looking at it in the camera viewfinder. I'll see what it looks like in the edit, but again, you can mess around with these things. So talking about messing around with this stuff, we go video device. You'll see we have all of this stuff 
to the right. So this is all your effects and your transform and all that stuff. Now you can just drag it around and you'll see that it snaps into place where it's supposed to go. So I want it to snap here. So it's in line with the other one. Now, uh, again, we can, we can transform this by like moving the X, which we don't want to do, but we can do that. And we can change the width and the height, which again, we don't want to do. We can flip. If I wanted to flip myself, I probably shouldn't say I want to flip myself. That sounds weird. Opacity. Again, we can just fade me down and up. This is pretty cool. So this is like rounded corners. So we can round the corners here, which I think is really cool. The fact that this is just built in, you can just round the corners of stuff and you can do that to, I believe you can do that to anything. So I can round the corners of my display capture if I want it. If you were using it for like your webcam uh, in the corner of like your stream, you might want to round those corners, make it look like a little bit nice. Down here we have effects. Now these are a bunch of built-in effects that we can play around with and use. Uh, again, I haven't used most of them, but black and white clearly makes me black and white. It's very simple. Uh, bulge just puts a big old bulge in my face and then we can edit that so that we can go I want the bulge to be bulgier I can do this to my face I don't want to do this but it's there as an option what's corner pin do oh, so okay okay that's what corner pin does okay it pins it to a corner okay that's really weird see these are just fun things to play around with now I don't know what CC toner is oh oh what if I set the midtones to red? Terrifying. I've made it into like a horror thing. Well, I can see how that would be useful or fun to use. Chroma key is pretty simple. Uh, if you're using a green screen, drop shadow, again, makes sense. Directional blur. I am a bit blurry now, and I can change the direction of this by using this and make myself even blurrier, or I can change the angle of the blur. Ooh, it can be blurry sideways if I want. Ooh, fractal noise. Whoa, that's... Oh, there is a lot of settings to do with this one. Uh-huh. Don't know what that one is really, but I'm sure there's very use to it. Glow styles. Oh, so we can put a little like border. Put a little, put a little. Yeah, that's, that's really cool actually. That's very clever. So it's sort of like a built-in little border around you. Like, if you're going to use a webcam, that'd be pretty cool. I like that. That's a cool idea. Shift channels. I can shift the channels. I can take green and make it blue. Again, weird, but uh, fun, fun little thing to play around with. Sharpen, shift channel, threshold, tin, transform, transform. What can I transform? Whoa, oh, that was bad. I did a bad, I didn't want to do that. Venetian blinds, what's Venetian blinds? Ah. There you go, Venetian blinds. Again, you could probably find a use case for this, but top of my head right now, I don't know what I'd use that for. So now let's take a look, a quick look at the audio mixer. So this is where the audio comes in. So again, audio, we can just add a track. You can rename the track. You can uh, select the device that the track is. Now I have a million devices, so you probably don't want to look at mine, but there we go. Uh, and I can delete the track. But also in here, we have a few effects. We have gain, magic mic, and stereo panner. So gain just adds more volume to your mic, which Again, you might want to use if your mic is particularly quiet or whatever. And Magic Mic basically melds version of background noise cancellation stuff. Now, I use the built-in one on OBS normally because there is a bit of noise in the office. Sometimes there's a fan, and especially when I have my aircon running, it is noisy. There's a little bit of background noise. I like to try and remove that as much as possible. And I've noticed that the built-in OBS filter does a pretty good job. So I'm going to use melds option. I have been using Mel's option for this entire time uh, with Magic Mic. Now I can turn that off and you can probably maybe take notice a difference here. Uh, I've turned Magic Mic off. Now if I turn it back on, it does seem to boost me a little bit, uh, but it also removes background noise and I can look at it and automatic gain control is on and the level of Magic Micness, which is like background noise removal and stuff, I'm just sound very high. Again, these are things you probably want to play around with a bit. If you're getting used to meld, you're going to get used to these things. Same with like the filters and the effects. You're going to want to play around with them a little bit. I mean, all in all, I can see it being, it's a very usable piece of software. It is very similar to OBS in that it is, if you've used OBS or OBS Studio, it makes sense. There's scenes, there's layers, which are your sources. 
Uh, there's effects, there's an audio mixer that you can use. It is very similar, but it is doing everything in its own way. One specific request I have of Meld. When I showed you earlier in here in the uh, preferences in the canvas size, so canvas size, they have specific canvas sizes, right? So you can have like 1080p, 1440p, 4K, like I'm using here. Now I'm using 4K. It's the best option for me to record like this. Now, in OBS, I do have a 4K like this where I can put four different cameras, cameras or screens or whatever. I can do four different recordings and then I can edit those. I can crop in and edit each of those so I can have like my face cam on top of you know the gameplay which is recorded on the same thing that's how i work the problem is i don't really use the 4k one because it's very rare that i'm using four cameras most of the time i want to use two cameras like i'm doing now i want the screen which is my game and then my face which is the camera right so i have a custom canvas size it's 1080p high but it's twice as long two 1080ps long that makes sense i'd like to be able to custom set that in meld because I'm recording 4K and I'm wasting half the screen because I'm not going to use that black space there. So I'd like to be able to just do that if I could. If you could make it so that it's customizable so that I can just have the two things recorded in 1080p next to each other, that would be ideal. Quick little addition that I've noticed since editing. So I have noticed that Yes, the camera definitely looks darker. I'm recording this in OBS now. So the camera definitely looks darker. Uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe something to look at. But uh, a big thing I noticed is so recording with uh, Meld. When I've then taken that recording and then put it into my editing software, uh, it has one audio track, which is fine for the video that I just recorded because it was only me speaking, right? There was no gameplay. There was no Discord. I did then record a quick test where I played some music that would come through the desktop. So I was talking while the music was playing. And then the problem is that records all onto one audio track. Now for recording, I would ideally like to see multiple tracks be able to be recorded because again, for editing a video, if I'm recording, then I want to be able to balance those audios out. I want to be able to mute one if I want to. You know, if I record everything at basically like full volume, I want to be able to balance that out and change it in the edit. And if it's all mushed into one track, that's impossible to do. So I would like to see that. That is another addition I would like to see. Uh, and again, like the, the little bit of camera darkness, I don't know what that was about. Again, maybe something to look at. Like I said, Meld is still in development, but I just wanted to add this little thing in that I did notice while I was editing the video. Now you can carry on and go back to me in Meld and finish the video. Okay, thank you. The filters and everything and the effects, just adding more of those as time goes, adding more customization, more things you can do. It's just gonna come with time and that's, definitely something I know they're working on because I've seen it. If you if you follow them on their Twitter, you'll be able to see the updates that they're planning on bringing and stuff that they're developing. It's very cool. You get to see all this stuff and you get to see that, you know, they are working hard to try and make Meld uh, even better. Now, clearly OBS has been around a lot longer, has a lot more plugin uh, support and things like that. But I see that, you know, as Meld grows and continues to develop, I can see that they're probably going to add and have a lot more plugin support in the future. But there we go. This is my quick little review of Meld. Uh, I'll put a link in the description where you go and check it out. This isn't sponsored, but Meld were kind enough to send me a like beta version that I could check out, which probably is outdated by now. But I think I covered most of the features. And like I said, there'll be more features to come. So if you guys would like to see me cover Meld in the future, when more features drop, then please do let me know. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time.